is Thomas Johnson. Uh, I teach on a part-time basis at Quantum Polytechnic University. I have a social justice program there, and uh, I'm really concerned about what's happening here. Uh, and I see around me people who are willing to dig in and put tents up and in front of heavy machinery and sort of a corporate drive to push something through that for many people is, uh, is unconscionable at a number of levels, environmentally, socially, uh, politically. And I guess my concern is that uh, just has to do with so much apathy out there that uh, you've got people who are willing to put their bodies on the line and uh, it's going to take uh, an effort on the part of everybody who's concerned about the environment. To, you know, what are your fish and so on and so forth to to come out and if you know find your comfort zone here? Uh, it may not be in front of a bulldozer, but it could be up on the road and holding out signs. But just let people know that this kind of nonsense is, is uh, totally unacceptable in a social democracy. What are your primary concerns about this particular project, the Gateway Project? Well, for me, it's a, you know, a, a mega road that goes right through an environmentally sen sensitive area. This is just a beautiful, beautiful site. And to have it taken up by a freeway as opposed to pathways for people to walk and enjoy the river, uh, again, to me, is uh, something that doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, there's wildlife here, I'm sure, that uh, uh, are being disrupted by the push to put a port in over there. Um, and, I mean, there's people that are being socially disrupted. I'm sure that houses are being taken over uh, in order to uh, facilitate this, uh, this mega project. What would you say to people who suggest that it's a done deal and that the road is going to be built? regardless? Well, <laughs> I'd, su I'd suggest uh, that uh, it's not, that you've got a lot of uh, willingness on the part of uh, a number of people to come out here and to try to make a difference. And I think that, you know, we have so many done deals in people's minds and so much apathy that uh, unless we stand up and are accounted and uh, walk with our feet and and become involved in these things, yeah, I suppose it is a done deal. But uh, nothing's over until uh, you know until uh, people come out and, and support something like this and uh, work towards creating uh, positive change. Uh, it's just no, I, I think that this has potential. It has possibilities, but it's going to require more people to come out and support. Uh, people who are, as I said, are willing to put their lives on the line uh, in front of heavy machinery. There's a tent right down there that uh, is, is set and uh, pitched for people. Uh, as I speak, uh, we've got RCMP helicopter flying over doing recognizance, I guess, on what's happening. We were over by a local park before we you know, started to talk and we saw probably Delta or RCMP police taking pictures of everybody who comes in and off the site. Um. That would, that's one of the issues that people might raise is that so many resources are being put into things like Absolutely. policing an event Absolutely. like this or, or putting resources into building roads in the first place and expanding road capacity for transport and for, for free trade zones uh, in the area. Could you maybe speak to some of the alternative ways that we might socially uh, distribute our resources uh, away from roads and uh, police helicopters? Well, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, it's it's the old argument. In fact, I, I just got back from uh, a federal institution up the valley, and and uh, I heard that it's uh, you know something like 8.3 million dollars to run that facility, and I think. What a colossal waste of, of time, energy, and money! Uh, when we could be, you know, putting our energies towards, you know, sustainable communities, uh, energies towards 
you know, better education, better health care, all the things that I think we as a society need. I mean, this is a major pollutant. Uh, I have kids with asthma. I think anybody who has concerns about, you know, health, the environment, the atmosphere, the air we breathe, should really be concerned about something like this. And any last words for someone who might be at home watching this <laughs> and uh, and wondering what's what's yeah. going on and uh, yeah, what's come happening out and, and, and get involved or at least at the very least come out and be curious ask questions find out uh, and as I said find your comfort zone here some people are willing to pitch tents in front of potential machinery in harm's way and others are willing to do other things to support people who are willing to do that kind of thing. So, yeah, absolutely. And, and even if we just look around, we can see that there are children here and young absolutely. folks, and it's a very absolutely. family, folks, yeah, it's a real family mixture, friend, friendly. Real area. mixture of people. It's uh, our community, really. <laughs> ab absolutely. Yeah. Totally. Absolutely. That's great. Thanks, Hollis. You bet.